Let's jump right into the headlines. Of course, the big news today is that Joe Biden is back after his campaign nearly fizzled out last week. Biden pulled off a stunning Super Tuesday comeback, winning nine states. This means Biden has a very real chance of being the Democratic nominee. And one thing's for sure, when it happens, those debates between Biden and Trump are definitely going to need subtitles. <laughs> Can you imagine? After last night, Biden has now surpassed Bernie Sanders in the total delegate count, but what Bernie lacks in delegates he more than makes up for in crumbled crackers in his jacket pockets. <laughs> but Bernie Sanders isn't completely out of the race. He won a number of states himself, including Vermont, Colorado, and Utah. So at the very least, we know that he's a hit with snowboarders, snowboarders, and Mormon snowboarders. <laughs> Here's how impressive Joe Biden's victory was yesterday. He won five states he never even campaigned in. Right now... <laughs> I know Biden is the front runner now, but it can't be a great sign that his number one constituency is people who don't want to see or hear from Joe Biden. <laughs> Basically, all Joe Biden has to do is lay low in South America for the next eight months. He'll beat Trump in a landslide. <laughs> but not everybody had a good day. The candidate who had the most disappointing showing yesterday was billionaire Mike Bloomberg. In fact, he did so poorly, he dropped out of the race early this morning. First, Tom Steyer dropped out. Now, Bloomberg... Billionaires just can't catch a break these days, <laughs> can they? <laughs> Bloomberg, I know. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. <laughs> Bloomberg spent hundreds of millions of dollars of his own money on his campaign. It just goes to show you, you can't buy the American presidency. You can steal it with the help of Russians... <laughs> ..but you can't buy it. <laughs> president Trump, of course, wasted no time mocking Bloomberg. As the results were coming in last night, the president tweeted, ''The biggest loser tonight by far is mini Mike Bloomberg. <laughs> $700 million washed down the drain and he got nothing for it but the nickname Mini Mike. <laughs> You gave him the nickname. <laughs> Wasn't just assigned to him by the Democrats when he entered the race. He didn't, like, drop out and go, I get to keep the nickname, right? <laughs> Trump mocked Mike Bloomberg for losing millions, and it is embarrassing. It is. The only more embarrassing way to lose money would be, I don't know, bankrupting a casino. <laughs> Moving on, in other news, a recent audit revealed that school officials in Alabama spent $700,000 of taxpayer money on, get this, alcohol, online gambling and gentlemen's clubs. <laughs> Still not as wasteful as the Bloomberg campaign. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true that the money was spent at a gentleman's club, local bars and online gambling, or, as the school officials call that, biology, civics and math. <laughs> They blew money on gentlemen's clubs. The accountants became suspicious when the school officials asked for all $700,000 in ones. <laughs> and finally, here's a story for any frequent flyers out there. An airline in New Zealand has come up with a new way to allow economy class flyers to sleep on long flights. It's tiny bunk beds, right? Here's a picture here. Look at that. There they are, all crammed together. Because, obviously, tiny bug beds... Tiny bunk beds sounds way better than we're going to be stacking you horizontally. <laughs> the airline will now stack you in, bunch, in bunk beds, which is way more comfortable than the old way of doing it, shoving you into an overhead compartment. <laughs>